the lowest one, 166, which is uh, sort of expected. Don't know if it's visible. I'll turn it around here. 166 grams. So this is uh, 18 grams less than the biggest one or the, the most flowing one. Let me stop that. And uh, that's still number two. We can. Alright, so keep the scale busy. We have zero. Set our timer. And okay, if you don't run the fuel pump, it's not going to work. Alright, let's get our timer done and uh, start it. Once we're done with that, because I can't do that here, I, I don't care actually. Um, we're gonna fit one of these Chinese injectors here and see what they do and how they look. They're brand new from China, it costs um, $6.95, which is about 10% of a new one. Uh, and uh, so it's tempting to try those and see how they look like. Because having the the same amount of fuel in every in every intake is uh, okay. We are I hate these scales. The timeout is so short. Let's wait a bucket, and we are at 177, 177 grams, which is the same as number two. So that's what we have. 1 and 2 is 177, 4 is 175, 5 is 184, and 6 is 166. So the last cylinder with the least fuel, that means that cylinder is running hot. And number 5 is running cold, because it's got too much fuel. Again, injector timing, that means injector opening time, is done on the global picture, because there's only one lambda sensor. So it does it for all cylinders. Um, I don't know how fast it's done, how, how what the update rate is there. But that means you're constantly running too rich on this cylinder, on cylinder number five, and you're constantly running too lean on cylinder number six. Um, two, three, four are, yeah, they're okay. 77, 75, that's okay. That's uh, about the same thing. That's the measuring, because it's not super scientific here. It's just getting a, a, a ballpark figure out of that thing. Um, uh, the pressure is not super constant, but we we see we can we are. I would call these three good. Um, this one may have an issue, and cylinder number six definitely has an issue. There is a possibility that they all should flow at 184. Uh, we can actually pull the data and see what they're gonna, what they should flow at this pressure. Um, so let's fit one of these uh, Chinese injectors and see what they do. To do that, you're gonna pull the tap here. You need a bucket because it's. Uh, gonna drop some fuel out and uh, just pop the retainer and hopefully you can find it and then just pull the injector which can be challenging because sometimes they don't come out but this one uh, this was certainly out before and uh, I have a strong feeling that they are pretty dirty so maybe they they got the same amount of dirt and this one is a good one. I don't know, really. We'll figure out. So let's put this one in. So. Okay, don't forget the retainer. Otherwise it pops straight out. They must have a, a groove somewhere. They do. Okay. Yeah, look at that, they got the cut only on the side. This Chinese one's got it all round. So. Okay. What we need to do is, because we we emptied the rail, we need to spray for a bit. Uh, the first thing is actually looking how the spray pattern looks like. Because that's the most inter interesting part here. Okay. All right, fuel pump. No 
pressure. Uh -oh. And then we just the spray pattern looks better. It looks it actually looks like it's spraying. I don't know if that's visible. But the spray looks more distributed compared to those. Okay, I think we flushed it enough. Let's do a proper check. Under our pressure. Okay. Okay, let's start. I wonder what it flows. Wait, 30 seconds, 70, 140, 150. Yes, I guess 150. Because that's what it looks like after half a minute. So this thing is considerably less flowy. Right? Ah, oh, come on, this, this scales are so shitty, yeah. Um. I think it's 140 to 11. 133. That is disappointing. Running same pressure. Right a little bit more. Let's try it again. Uh, I'm not super excited, honestly. This is... I think if I play with the scales a few times, it doesn't go into hibernation mode again. Maybe the, the change is just not significant enough. Half a minute, 70, 140. Yeah. I think it's the same. This thing is flowing much less than an original injector. So they are pretty much useless. I don't like that. 124. So what does this tell us? You can check this out. Increase the voltage to 11 volts. So, oh, there's some pressure, pressure searching here for whatever reason. So, let's do it again uh, with the same pressure for bar. Get my, my timer set and run it. Same injector, same pressure. I think it looks repeatable because uh, with 30 seconds, 70 grams of that are under 40 ish, this thing is flowing less. So it's not a replacement injector. If you're wondering why I'm using this injector, um, I converted my uh, injection system to the newer injector. Oh, in fact, I just need to wait until it's uh, finished here. Under 40, under 36, under 36 grams, which is uh, ridiculously low compared to the other ones. So the new one is 136, that was the Chinese one. Hundred hundred thirty five, hundred thirty six. Uh, this is uh, disappointing. They are not actually a replacement. So you can't swap them just in, because in this case you will have this in injector flowing much much less than all your other ones. E even the faulty one, the the last one, which is flowing quite a bit lower than the other ones. Um, so what we do is, we give them a clean, 
and uh, and run it again. Let me try the other one. I have another one of these. If they're all that bad. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, let's stick into the towel here. It's plastic is not fuel proof yet. Anyway, let's take that out and uh, see what we get here. The spray pattern looks actually quite nice. It's just the uh, just the volume flow or the mass flow is not right. And the voltage makes no difference. I know, fuel is not good for your hands, but we are mechanics, we do that since ever. And uh, I was getting quite old, I'm sticking my hands in fuel, so again, don't do this at home, it's dangerous, fuel is very dangerous, don't smoke. Don't make sparks. You may kill you. This is just an experiment to show how I do it. Uh, it's certainly not the right way of doing it. For certain people at least. But uh, not anyone has a flow bench. So 79 grams is our tub. Get the smartphone right here. Get the fuel pump running. Make some pressure here. I was just uh, draining it a little bit. Make sure we don't have air in the system. We still may have some air. Okay, let's go. Start. So this is an, another, that's a new, or that's another one of these Chinese ones. See if they are fairly equal, and if it's that low as well, but I think it looks like... Um, 